All right, so I've been looking for a way to mark uh, important moments while I'm streaming without having to alt-tab out or simply just write them on a piece of paper. I was catching myself during the gameplay, alt-tabbing out and then clipping it in Twitch uh, and then getting back into the game, which sometimes doesn't work, obviously, uh, when you're in the throes of the, of the game or a heated moment. So long story short, I found a program that's able to timestamp. It's an OBS plugin, and I'm going to explain that right now. Okay, step one is to click the link in the description that brings you to the Open Broadcaster Software Info Writer uh, plugin page where you can download. Second step here is to click the download now, obviously, and you'll get a WinRAR file. Next step, you're going to want to extract this to your desktop. So just right click, extract to specific desktop, OK, boom. Next, you're going to have the 1.0 on your desktop. You have the 32 bit and the 64 bit versions. All right, once you have the 1.0 on your desktop, you'll go ahead and open up your C drive, local C drive, program files x86. If you run a 64 bit, you'll go down to OBS Studio, OBS Plugins, and then here is where you're going to uh, bring the file, the DLL files from your download into the each folder. So I'll go to 32 bit, open that up, then I'll go to the 1.0 that I downloaded, open that up, and I simply just drag this in. Uh, I'm going to skip that because I already have. I already have these in there, but you're going to just drag the DLL from the 32-bit into the 32-bit folder here. You'll go back to 64-bit, do the same thing. 64-bit, drag this in. All right, once you have those uh, dragged into each 32-bit and 64-bit, you'll bring up your OBS here. You'll go to uh, you'll go to add a source, and you will see InfoWriter at the, uh, the bottom should be the second one up. You click on that. I already have one that's made. Um, You'll add that in, and you'll see that nothing pops up. It doesn't do anything. It should needs. It just needs to be a source uh, in your OBS. Once you have it as a source, if you double click it or right click it in properties, you'll see uh, the formatting, the log files. The only thing you really need to change here is the log file. It's really just where you wanna where you wanna place this uh, this text file. So I have it saved. Uh, under my desktop, I just have a info writer uh, notepad uh, document on my desktop. That's where I save it. Okay, so once you have that log file figured out, go into your OBS settings, go down to hotkeys, and then scroll all the way down. You'll see the info writer is here, and then whatever hotkey you prefer uh, to use, you can put in um, as hotkey one. So you can do the number one. You could do any anything you want. So I, I just this is what I prefer. Um, so once you have that figured out, then just hit apply and OK. All right. So just to give you an example of what it would look like, uh, it'll give you the start stop stream. Uh, and then every time you change scenes, this is just an example of a short stream that I did. Uh, but every time you change scenes, it will it will note that it will time frame that or time stamp it. Excuse me. And then you'll see here where there's a time stamp, but there's nothing. That is whenever I hit my hotkey. So there was something that happened at 30 minutes and 23 seconds into my stream. And I'm able to while I'm playing the game, I'm able to quickly hit that button and time stamp that particular moment during my stream. That way, whenever I'm done streaming, I can go back into my VOD and highlight it or clip it or whatever I, I want to do. Um, so I use this for BR games when I'm in the heat of the moment and something comes up, I get a nice kill or whatever, and I'm able to quickly hit this uh, my hotkey for it to time stamp it, and then I can go back later and edit it. All right, well, I hope this helps everybody. It was a nice tool to use uh, for streaming and uh, makes things a little bit easier whenever you're trying to time stamp things or, or keep track, especially if you're streaming for hours and hours and hours or uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of action going on. You don't have time to kind of alt-tab out or write it down. This is a way for you to highlight your stream without, uh, without taking your eyes off the game. Feel free to leave a question in the comments if you need clarification on something uh, or anything like that. But I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.